Unraveling the Mystery, Rabbit on the Loose. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that you might come across in English conversations, rabbit on the loose. This expression is not just about a furry animal escaping its confines, it carries a deeper meaning and is used in various contexts. Stay tuned as we explore the origins, meanings, and uses of this intriguing phrase. The expression, rabbit on the loose, literally refers to a rabbit that has escaped from its enclosure. However, in everyday English, it's used metaphorically to describe situations or individuals that are out of control or hard to catch. This can apply to anything from a person who can't be pinned down for a meeting to a situation that has gone haywire. While the exact origins of rabbit on the loose are not clearly documented, it's easy to understand how the comparison arose. Rabbits are known for their speed and agility, making them difficult to catch when they escape. This imagery is powerful in conveying the idea of elusiveness or chaos. In usage, the phrase can be flexible. It might describe someone who is avoiding responsibilities or a scenario that's spiraled out of control. For example, if a project is not proceeding as planned due to various unforeseeable issues, one might say, this project is like a rabbit on the loose. To help you grasp how to use rabbit on the loose in conversation, here are a few examples. Ever since the new policy was introduced, it's been like a rabbit on the loose in the office, with everyone confused and disorganized. Trying to organize a meeting with Jake is like dealing with a rabbit on the loose, he's just never available. The rumors about the merger are rabbit on the loose, spreading chaos and uncertainty. Understanding phrases like, rabbit on the loose, can enrich your English learning journey, adding nuance and color to your conversations. It's a fun way to describe situations that are chaotic or people who are elusive. We hope this video has shed light on this interesting phrase and its usage in English. Keep exploring the language, and you'll discover many more gems like this. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.